Bedford is duly elected as the next leader of Welsh Labour and our candidate for First Minister of Wales. He's set for the highest political office in Wales, always the favourite for the top job. Mark Drakeford needed to go to the second round of votes to secure the leadership of Welsh Labour. Well, the choice that has been made today, I believe, is a choice for a Labour Party which is ambitious for a distinctive Wales in a successful United Kingdom. He has his hands on a £17 billion budget. And as Wales prepares to say goodbye to Carwin Jones, many here expect his successor to align his government with the socialist values of Jeremy Corbyn. In a sense, Wales now will have a leader who thinks along the same sort of lines. Well, uh, I was pleased to support Jeremy Corbyn in both the elections that he has stood in because of the ideas and the values that he represents came out so powerfully in our manifesto last year that appealed to so many people. A sense that things can be different. And does that mean that you will be unafraid to raise taxes here in Wales if you feel it's the right thing to do? Well, I've always believed that raising taxes is a peripheral argument, really. What would you, really you be unafraid to, to do it if, if the circumstances presented themselves and that's what you felt you had? I, I certainly wouldn't not do it on principle. The real answer is to grow the economy. And then there is more money coming in for all the things that we want to do. Despite being a government minister here, Mark Drakeford's relatively unknown. The academic turned politician faces a fresh learning curve and a brief that should begin next week with, you guessed it, Brexit. Rupert Evelyn, ITV News, Cardiff.